Hey everyone, it's Pat from Wires Don't Talk. I'm a music producer, JoJo fan, and now art book owner, doing something a little bit different today. Instead of my music references in JoJo videos, I'm gonna be looking at what just came in the mail, this JoJo 6251 art book. I pre-ordered this back in November and it finally showed up now. And just to show a comparison of the size, this is the manga. You can see a lot bigger than this. If you have a great bookshelf, this isn't gonna fit on it. This is definitely a coffee table book. But let's take a look at it. Oh, so immediately once you open it, you get this, it's like a pullout poster, cool. So this is only gonna be focusing on part one to part four. So if you haven't seen all the anime yet, you're not gonna get any spoilers. Or if you're like me, who just takes a long time to read comic books and manga, you're not gonna get any spoilers for part seven and on. But we see this art and it looks like, oh, it goes out a little bit further. It goes out even further there. And oh, it's two-sided. So it is two-sided, so it's them in the tree, which is great. And it looks like we get another one here. Uh, very cool, so still the boys yet again, still the Joe Stars. And oh, so it's really not double-sided, it's two separate pieces. And this is all of them in the tree. Oh wow, I'm not gonna get that all in one shot there. That This is huge, this is actually kind of going over my table here. Oh wow, this is so cool. Boy, they got whole horse, they got all the, the villains too. I've only seen this particular piece of art, not the villain side, that's so cool. So already great start, great great opener to the book. Very happy already with this purchase. Uh, and now we get into the actual book, which is exciting. So we start off with Jonathan, obviously. And I'm very excited about this book. I've always wanted an art book. I feel like that's the fanciest thing that I can have in my studio because I mean, I, I, my only reference of like high society is Frasier and they had art books in it. So like, that's what I'm going off of. So I'm very excited this is my first art book that I'll, I'll have here. Going right into Joseph. So not a lot of, of Jonathan, but again, I get, I get that. It's definitely a smaller part. Um, Joseph is my favorite, so I am glad we're getting all of this stuff. The amount of doodads that he just has on his person in this. like Love the colors. It also gives you a little bit of text here too, just showing you like where it came from. So this one's Jump Comics Volume 8, 1989. So it's, it's even showing you a little bit more of the history of it, which is cool. Uh, so part three, showing the gang too, a little bit of Polnareff in there. Wow, really nice. I mean, I mean the art's amazing. You're, you're gonna know that the art is gonna be amazing, right? Like I'm not surprised. Ooh, ooh, so I'm super excited they included this one. So I'm just doing a whole horse video right now, and I'm pretty sure this is the only piece of art that has whole horse with the Stardust Crusaders as a member of the team, because Araki was trying to make him a member of the team. He was supposed to join the team, but there was a few reasons why it just didn't work out. So subscribe to see my full video on whole horse and his music reference to hear more about this. But that is really cool that they included in this because it's probably a pretty rare uh, piece because you never see them together again. Love the colors. Again, it's just fantastic. Oh, some of the older stuff even. Yeah, so again, 1991 here with Dio. And then I, I love how there's just kind of art scrambled all over the pages. Oh, cool, so it's not just art too. This is showing off the tarot cards. It's giving just a little bit of description of each one. Um, something that it doesn't do, which I mean, I get it that this is not a book for that. I do know that like different cards mean something different if it's reversed. So if you get it a different way or if I get it a certain way, it's going to be a different meaning. And it's interesting because they all do kind of align with the stands too, but this is still great. I mean, they're not gonna do a whole thing on the tarot cards here. That's, that's up to your own research. Uh, oh, and even the Egyptian cards. I actually always forget the, all of these cards. Um, and I only remember the one from Oingo Boingo. So, <laughs> so it's, you get a kind of a mixture of like small pieces of art and like just full pages. I mean, again, this is a, a kind of three fourths of a whole two pages there. Oh, nice with all the different flags. Iggy, I'm, so, I, I'm not seeing a lot of Iggy in this and I'm glad I am getting at least a little bit of Iggy. He's one of my favorites. The amount of color too is just insane in this. Some action shots we get. Even explaining so the novel that they talk about there too. The cover, so again, if, if this is kind of an iconic cover, so it is showing off some of the cover artwork here, um, breaking it up in some. Some of the manga pages too, which is awesome. And whew, these things are 
just so good looking. This is so fantastic. Let me know your favorite panel that we're looking at here because these are really, really cool. And now into part four, arguably my favorite part. Also out of part one to part four, tell me your favorite parts because I, I feel like part four is just my absolute favorite part, but I'm not done with seven yet. So that might change in the future. I just love the neon colors. I love the pink that they use in there, the light blue. I love the color of Shining Diamond. Oh, these are nice. I haven't seen a lot of this artwork too. Like that, that's, it's all pretty new for me. Some of the covers still too, which is great. Oh, what is this? What is this from? This is a title page. Like, I just love that they just, this is crazy. Then you see the gang again. Nice. And there's floating in the air for some reason, but I do not care. This looks good. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is showing how Araki actually made it. So he starts with the rough sketching, penciling, inking and spot filling, and then coloring. That's really cool. It shows photos of him actually working on it too. Very cool. I love how they show just kind of the drafts. Oh, and there's, oh, okay. So there's more coloring. So there's coloring clothing and coloring anything else, which I guess I never realized just how much detail is in all of these pieces and you can't just do it all in one go. That's really cool. Clean up and finishing and then the final product. Really cool. I'm glad they're showing off his artwork and, and they do give a bit of uh, some tidbits about what he does. So that is really, really cool. Oh, and we get a bit of bow. So we do get bow too. Very cool. Very cool. I've never read bow. I've just, I know him from all-star battle R. Um, so this is really cool that they show it off. I am hoping we get some gorgeous Irene because I, I am a fan of, of what he did with her character as well. That's really cool. And oh, oh, there she is. That's her. That, oh, good. So they did include gorgeous Irene. Love seeing that. She is such an important character for really just women in manga in general. I, I talked about her in my Lisa Lisa video. She's like wickedly important and Araki just like making her kind of out of nowhere that she was right before JoJo's. So she she really is like the, the grandmother of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Looks like F1 Grand Prix. That's pretty cool. So I'm not familiar with some of the, the promos that he's done. Oh, and we get the family tree here as well, which is cool because I don't know every character, uh, especially like someone like Susie Q or Holly, like I don't know them too much. So it's cool that we get the, the family tree in there. And now the encyclopedia of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So it's character profiles. This is so cool. So it's just black and white now, but it's so much information. This text is so small, but it's showing you everything. That's so cool. Oh, wow. And even goes into to smaller characters like Tan Petty. It's not just like Dio. It's also getting Wang Chang. That's very cool. Very cool. Oh, wow. Even Jack the Ripper got some like this. That's awesome. And some key concepts. So I'm probably going to keep this book in the studio. So if folks are ever coming around and they're like, they're, they don't know Jojo, which is probably strange if you've met me now and I haven't talked to you about Jojo in some way, but they can kind of read this and get a sense of, of the show and, and the manga. So that's really cool that it's, it's good for newcomers to, to the series, but also veterans. I mean, you're going to love it at case in point. Boy, it really goes through each part showing every single character and concept. Very cool. I feel like if you're if you're a big fan of the manga in this show, you probably already know a lot of the stuff. Oh, it's old Iggy. Oh God, I love that design. I do love the fool. Oh God, he was such an ugly dog and I love that about him. <laughs> oh, so it does show a little bit more of the tarot cards, more so their users. And it goes into the stands. So really cool, it kind of shows Boy, a lot of stands in in part three. There is a lot. Oh, even they show off the Darbies too. Like that's awesome. It's, it's every character. So I feel like no matter who you like, even the car from part three, I feel like no matter who you like, you're going to get them because it's every single character at all. No, some more of the tarot cards too. Very nice. And also some maps, which is cool. Showing you their path. Dio's floor plan. Did not even think about him having like a floor plan for his mansion. Really cool that they designed that. Like, I don't think about that you would need to design that, but very, very cool. Part four. Again, just every stinking character that they had. Love it. Also, I'm glad that they show manga panels too, so you can actually see it. This is in English, so you can read them totally fine. Just, and I love the surrounding art. It's not just the 
just the panels. Like they really use the space pretty well here too. Also showing off Morio. Again, a, a place that I never realized like, yeah, it has a map and it really shows the amount of thought process that Araki put into this, which is so cool. Cause I just, I didn't care when I watched this show. I'm like, yeah, they're in the square. Yeah, they're by the shopping mall. I don't know, but like, no, he really put in time, which is so cool. Oh, and even the history of it. So if I look at the top, okay, so this is, it's not the history of him making it. It's the history in the show, in the manga. So like cars being born, being the first thing. I never even realized that like cars would be like the first entity in, in the JoJo universe here. But it really um, shows everything here going into part two beginning, part three. And I never realized part four here, going from April to around June, never really thought that that there would be such a tight time frame for that whole part. That's really cool to see that put in context. Oh, wow. And here is, again, every single character. This is insane. The amount that you, even Dio's dad is in here. Oh my God. They did not skimp on the, uh, on the characters here. Very cool. Again, using that artwork, which is awesome. Um, oh, wow. Even the sound effects. Didn't think I'd see sound effects in a art book, which is pretty funny. And it shows you the Japanese characters that are used to do it, but also how you would actually pronounce it. So really, really cool. Uh, just such a nice touch. Even again, famous lines too. So that's just a, a lot to take in for any JoJo fan. And oh, so Araki getting his own spotlight, rightfully so. Very nice photos. You could tell he just has like, He's just a fan of horror, and you can tell that in some of these photos. Yeah, look at it. Come on, come on, look at that. Like, you could tell he's he's just letting it shine in his... Uh, oh, boy, even up here, this guy is... He's so interesting, and I'm glad. There's a lot that he talks about here. Very excited. I see right here he's talking about Clint Eastwood. So if you're a fan of, of JoJo, you know that Clint Eastwood is, is a big influence to him and just Westerns in general. So you really get a lot of information, and it's nice to have it all in one nice book. You're not getting it just sporadically on the web and whatnot. I mean, you know, maybe some, some YouTubers out there like yours truly might be able to teach you a few things, but it is nice to have this. Uh, even seeing his complete work, I've never known his bibliography before Bao, so that's actually really cool. There's Bao, the gorgeous Irene, and then I, okay, did he do something on Nikola Tesla? I didn't know I needed that. I, I gotta check that out now. That's really cool that he just talks about him. Uh, boy, that was back in 1989, um, but it is a availability, not yet collected. So interesting. So again, little things like that, that, I mean, I had no idea. And it's like, it's been my job recently just to research his work. So goes into the merchandise, the video games here, some of the audio stuff. I, you know, again, I, I don't know a lot of these, uh, these works. Uh, I really didn't know there was a novel and I mean, what's on the CD, you know what I mean? And it does tell you what's on there. So this is the original soundtrack CD of the OVA. Uh, so very cool. So it does even tell you information if you're uh, unfamiliar. And, and that's it. That's a, a fantastic book. This is was a great purchase. This only costs $32. Uh, that's including shipping as well. So I, I bought it off Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Hopefully it's still available. I did pre-order mine. I definitely recommend this book. It's so cool. It's really nice it's just a great thing to have for a jojo fan please tell me your favorite panel that we looked at here also let me know if you have the book if you want to get the book let me know because i want to keep talking jojo and if you want to keep talking jojo you can join me in the wires don't talk discord the links in the description where we can just keep talking jojo maybe play some all-star battle r if, if you're a jojo player also be sure to like and subscribe for more and keep checking out wires don't talk for more videos more jojos and of course more music <laughs>